I understand whilst at Plymouth, you were rumoured to have a release clause of around £800,000, uh, which was matched by Coventry City. Um, however, I understand you were not made aware of this until many years later when their then manager, Gordon Strachan, informed you. How, before we kind of delve into that, how, how common is this? And um, as, a, as a player that's finished his career and kind of sees those things, how, how does that make you feel? It's interesting one, because we had a reunion at Leighton Orient and Frank Clark was there and we'd had a few drinks and I, I did a, approach him and he never actually gave me a straight answer. But, you know, I had a similar sort of experience when I was at Leighton Orient with West Ham that I'd heard, Tottenham. Uh, in the paper there was uh, Man United and then for a fact I knew that Liverpool had come in because I saw Sammy Lee on a, on a, uh, on a coaching uh, course and, and he, he said that you know that we were being monitored and I had never heard any of them and whilst at Leighton Orient, whilst at Plymouth the only news I got from Plymouth was that they came out with it uh, at the tribunal at Birmingham and saying that they turned down 800 grand and it was a complete shock to me uh, I didn't have a representative, uh, an agent. Maybe that might be one of the things that you you do look as a plus with, with agents, um, that they know that the full ins and outs of what's going on. Um, but yeah, it was the days that you know you were you were a piece of meat and, and, and if they wanted rid of you, they, they would have done so. Uh, and they chose to, to turn down a hell of a lot of money for uh, what was a first division club, Premier League club uh, at the time. 